Hello, Tim Durham here with Durham's Bee Farm in Walls, Mississippi, and today we're going to cover uh, putting frames together inside the beehive. This is for new, begin new beginners that have never put frames together, so hopefully it will help you and, and uh, you don't make the mistakes that I've made down through the years. When you get your uh, frames from the bee supply house, uh, each frame consists of two end bars and uh, one top one top bar and one one bottom bar and my bottom bar is slotted down through the bottom and uh, you will need a, a, a hive tool that's a must uh, I paint it pink so I can see it the first thing you will do is punch out this cleat in the top bar this is not rocket science but uh, hopefully I will help you uh, not make mistakes that I made so the first thing we will do is this top bar uh, it has been cut in such a way that you can pop it out. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to use my thumb. Well, I thought it was. Uh, I'm going to use a hive tool to, 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 to pop it out. Okay. Now, uh, where I pop this, this cleat out, uh, I'm going to take my hive tool and I'm going to clean any burrs that's in there, clean, clean them off. The second thing I will do is where I pop this out, that left a little burr on the edge. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna scrape that burr off, so it will, it will, the, the, uh, it will be level. Uh, some of them are a little harder than others. All right, and I will do that. To, I will do that to every top. The next thing we're gonna do is put. Uh, these little eyelets in only one side of this brood frame. We're going to put the eyelet in the two center holes. There are four holes, but we're only going to use the center two. And I will show you why later. Now this little tool is a must. And you stick the eyelet on the end of it. Uh, you put it in the hole, and then you, you hit it. And now the eyelet is in the hole, and I'll show you why later. Okay, I put the eyelets in in one side of this frame. Uh, the bee supplies houses, after 40 years, they finally learned uh, to make this frame the same on both sides. And so this is identical on both sides. I only put the eyelets in on one side in the two center holes. Now I'm going to put these in my frame holder. And if this is your first time, you won't have this frame holder. You can make you a jig to kind of hold them. But still, you're going to put yours together the same way I'm putting these together. But but my eyelets now are going, are going to face the outside. So uh, uh, I'm putting these in here, and the eyelets are facing the outside. And, and likewise, on the other end, I'm going to put these in, and the eyelets are facing the outside. So I'll end up having uh, 10, frame, 10, 10 ends over here and 10 ends over here. Okay, I'm getting ready to attach my top bar to my two end bars. And uh, I apply glue. This is important. Please apply your glue. And after I apply, apply the glue in, in the top of this end bar, I take a, a, a nail and spread it evenly. Now, I'm going to uh, apply my top bar on all ten of them. One, two, three, go. Okay, I have installed the top bars onto the end bars. And now, I'm going to uh, uh, put two nails vertically through the top bar into the end bar. Now I do go across each one and be sure that the end bars are down good before I put the nails in. So I put two nails vertically through the top bar into the end bar. Okay, the next step is uh, when you apply the glue uh, uh, attach the top bar you're going to have some glue squash out 
under, under this top bar right here. So uh, I want to uh, wipe that clean. And I can do that while it's still in this frame, frame holder. But I want to take it out and show you. So uh, I, with my fingernail, I will go underneath there and, and uh, wipe out that glue that has squashed out. I have uh, turned these frames upside down and I have applied glue to the the bottom end of the end bars. This is the end bars. This is the bottom end. I've applied glue and I'm going to uh, spread that glue now with, with uh, a nail to try to get it distributed more equally. Um, uh, people call me often and, and they say, uh, how do I get bees? Uh, in 40 years, or I've never had anyone call and say, am I, am I a good prospect for bees? Uh, and uh, so when they call and say, uh, how do I get bees? I say, why do you want bees? And basically, there's only one good answer. Uh, uh, they, they have a... Uh, they just feel like they would really enjoy having bees. They, they sound interesting. If you're getting them to pollinate your garden, uh, and that's the only reason, uh, well, not good enough. Now, after you get your bees, uh, if you have a burning desire to go into your bees once a week, then you most likely will succeed. If you don't have a burning desire to, to go into your bees, uh, on a frequent basis, then uh, maybe you ought to be, you know, playing the piano. All right. Now I'm going to uh, uh, install my bottom bar into the end bar, and uh, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to put uh, two nails into it. Okay, now I have uh, attached the bottom bars to the end bar, and uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you see where the glue has squashed out? Please wipe that off. Smooth it out with your finger. Uh, the reason for that, I'm going to do on the inside the same way. Down the road, years down the road, when you go to clean your frames with a hive tool, that glue will really you'll wish you had uh, smoothed it out. Now I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the uh, frames out of this frame holder. It's, it's made, this frame holder is made, uh, whoever invented it did a good job. And uh, so now my frames are out of the frame holder and maybe you can kind of get an idea what, it, what it, the frame holder looks like. It's real neat. But, uh, but uh, when I put my, my, high, my first frame together, I didn't have this. And, and you don't have to have it, it just makes it convenient. Okay, here's the frame like it sits in the beehive. And we put a nail vertically through the top bar into the end bar. We put a nail vertically from the bottom bar into the end bar. Now, here's the most important nail of all. We're going to put a nail horizontally through this end bar into the top bar. Now, you, when you get your frame, you will notice now, remember you took that cleat out. So, so one part of this, the underside of this top bar is thicker than the other side. So you want to put the nail through the end bar into the thick part of the, the top bar. So uh, I'll do one here, is, is illustration. And... Uh, I'm getting old, my, my knuckles off right. Okay, that is the most important nail that you'll put in your frame right there. All right, now we're getting ready to uh, install our horizontal wire. Now for your home beekeepers, I'm demonstrating, I have a nail driven here, and this nail is driven down here, it's, it's bent. So as I push this, uh, frame down on that nail it's going to make these end bars push in just a little bit 
and and I'll show you why we want to do that. All right, now I'm putting the the wire through this eyelet, and then I'm on I'm gonna pull it through this eyelet. All right, I'm gonna pull it quite a bit. Now I'm gonna go back through the other eyelet. And then I'm going to get my wire on the inside of that nail. And now through the other eyelet. Now I'm going to bend the wire. Uh, I'm going to bend the wire on the edge of this frame. So I'm going to drive a little nail right there. Alright, now I'm, I'm going to uh, wrap this wire around that nail. Now I can, I can twist the wire and break it off. Now, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put another nail right here and this time I'm going to use my pliers I'm going to pull that tight, that line that wire pretty tight very tight and then I'm going to wrap it around this nail three or four times is plenty and tighten the nail up now I can I can bend the I can I raise this up now my my two wires are are taut. They're they're very tight. And again, I only use two wires. They made these frames to use four wires, but you don't need four. And I'll show you why later when we install the foundation. Two wires is adequate. It's time to install our foundation into this brood frame. And remember, I had you put the eyelets uh, in the outside of these brood frames. The, the reason for that is when you tighten up these wires uh, so the wire will not cut through the soft pine uh, with the eyelets in there the wire will stay nice and taut. Now uh, remember I had you uh, clean out any burrs be sure there's no, no wood sticking up in, in this slot right here and likewise in this cleat that we that we broke loose. I cleaned off the edge so it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going to, uh, this is a sheet of uh, brood foundation. It has vertical wires in it. You can see the vertical wires and there's some hooks on top. Alright now, uh, uh, I usually hold this in my lap but uh, for, for the sake of the you've been able to see. Now the frame is, is, is upright like it should be and I'm holding the foundation like so. The hooks the hooks are on the same side as this slot right here. Alright now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ease the foundation down in, the, in that slotted bottom ball. Okay I ran into a little uh, uh, problem here when I was uh, putting the foundation into the bottom frame the uh, a groove was not cut deep enough into the end, so it, it my foundation did, did not want to fall down into the frame. So what I did, I took some scissors and just cut just a tiny bit off off each corner right here. Now my foundation will uh, slide down into the slotted bottom bar and. Now, my, my top of my foundation, remember I told you this, there's some hooks on the brood foundation. So those hooks cradle down in that groove of that top bar. Now, be sure that, that uh, your space on this end and this end are equal. Uh, it's not a big deal if it's not. But Now, this frame is square. Uh, I usually... Take a frame, uh, take this square, and I check it to be sure my frame is square. And this one, this one is square. So I've got my foundation installed into the uh, uh, frame. Now I'm going to take this cleat 
and I'm going to uh, put it down here uh, on top of those hooks. Remember I told you those those hooks are there. I'm going to put the foundation, the, the cleat on top of those hooks. And I've got me a little piece of wood to hold it so I can push against it. Now I'm using a staple gun, but they, they send you the, uh, the correct size nail. So, um, uh, three nails is adequate. I put one here, here, and here. And this, this cleat right here holds the foundation in place. And I cannot stress enough how important it is to be sure this foundation is straight and in the center of your frame. I cannot emphasize that enough. That is so important. Now next we're going to embed the wire. We are now going to uh, embed the wire, this, uh, this horizontal wire, these two horizontal wires into this foundation. Uh, all you need is a, a piece of plywood, 5 8 inches thick, and we will lay, will lay this down on top of it, and that will give you a solid surface. Now, uh, we will use this tool here. Uh, this end right here will contact the wire. This other end will contact the wire. And I'm going to lay those two ends down on the wire. And uh, when, when I hold this down with my finger, then uh, it will complete the circuit, and that wire will get hot. And, and these little horseshoe nails right here, will push the wire down into the foundation while it's hot. And so I'm going to do that right now. And just, when I let, I let it cool, and then I just kind of rock it and take it up. So down, let up, rock it, I'm done. So now, this horizontal wire is embedded in the foundation and it will hold it nice and straight. I cannot emphasize how important it is. When you put this frame into your, into your beehive, please be sure all this foundation is nice and straight and in the center of the frame. You'll be so glad you did. Uh, down below, if this video has helped you, uh, please click on I like. And uh, if you have any questions, how... Uh, information that would help you in the future, please let, please let us know. Uh, thank you and, and uh, happy beekeeping from Durham's Bee Farm.